Beloved angel spirits, guides, do welcome into this reading. Cancer's energy. Cancers, I'm thinking about getting some new cards to use. If you have um, any select decks that you'd like to see me use, please make, um, suggest them in the comment section. I look forward to seeing that. I'm about to purchase new cards. Cancerians, welcome into the channel. Much love to you. Thank you so much for being here. Well, I do hope I can serve you well in this reading. Get messages for you that are going to inspire you, make you feel good, or give you insight into any situation that you're currently dealing with and you need clarity in. Okay. Let us talk about it. Wrong, this is the five of swords energy. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, angel spirits, guides, cancers. <sighs> Welcome in, breathe in here with me. Welcome your energy in. I love to do a very deep reading for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love to touch your soul today in this one. I'd love to connect with souls, maybe soulmates, soul family today or something like that. <sighs> Let's see you. Hey, they hit Ace of Cups, the Ace of Hearts, soul family. Let's just talk. What are you here for, Cancer? Love. What is this title? I wonder what I'm going to title this reading that's going to catch your eye and what you're going to actually get out of this. Because this feels like a conversation between, <laughs> I don't know, I just, I, I'm, I'm sifting through the energy until I get to, until you're, like, until we're there. Mm -hmm. Let's breathe and settle down. We... That's, I, yeah, let, I want what's been, like, the essence of you, the your aura, I'd like it to float to the top like oil in water. Because maybe, you know, you've been walking around with a certain aura or vibration. You feel it, but because you're distracted by so much things, so many other things that you have going on, you're not giving yourself space and time to figure out what this, what your aura is, what needs to be cleared up. So maybe something like that. So I just feel like just let it, let your body relax and let the energy come to awareness. Let it flow to the top, so to speak. Let's see what we can get there. On this energy for cancer and angel spirits and guides. It feels like I don't know. I don't know. I want to say it feels like it is a lot, but it's not. It's not heavy. It's not even discernible. I can't even discern what is going on. It's light. Let's see what the cards say. It's kind of light feeling, but it's not cleared up. What is that? It feels like amnesia or Alzheimer's. Like there's a far feeling of wanting something, but not even knowing what it is. Nostalgia, but not even knowing what that past feeling that you're looking for is exactly. You know, it's like something, the three of hearts and the three of swords representing here. Something wants to heal that happened. It needs this space, this quiet time that it can rise up here. Look. Something wants to come up and out of you. It's the energy of light itself pushing a force up and out. But the energy that they're pushing out is not necessarily... Can you see that happening? Oh, the sun card is actually on the floor. It fell while shuffling. I just haven't reached for it yet. It's that energy of light. And look at this. 
Now let's talk about this light that's pushing this foot. This light feels like enlightenment or clarity. Cancer. For you, the sun. It's like it's pushing out, pushing up, raising up this field of whatever this darkness, this confusion is, this feeling that you can't even discern what it is that you want, but you know there is something. Like you can't grasp it. It's just, it's that feeling that needs to go out. You know, because I feel like you're trying to sort through that feeling. Like what is it? Or you're looking in that feeling for the answers. But it is you. No, like me say. It is, um... It is something in you that that needs. So you are both the light and the dark, but you're neither. You're neither in this case. Or you're both, but you're neither. Anywho, because <clears throat> you, you, you manifest in the light as the force that is about to excavate or expel this dark energy up and out and through. <sighs> But you, you are also the dark that wants to be. You know, you want to be, you want to have a meaning, a purpose. The dark energy here, it wants to be relevant. But the light is going to outshine it. Nonetheless, like the sun has to come up. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com. I feel like something is going to be exposed in your life. Would, <clears throat> hmm. Truth and lies or Something about connection and lack of connection with the three hearts and the three of swords. The light is about to expose, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, pest, 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 you know, when you fumigate an area, that's like what the sun is doing, bringing light. Oh, you know, like when light enters a cave, the bats Ex the bats exit that cave like whatever was hidden in the light it's not has to come in the dark sorry has to come out to light it's the light or the enlightenment that is coming in the newness the birth that is interrupting this space here for what was hidden these things the darkness oh my goodness you know cancer you could be breaking a lot of mental things especially a lot of things from childhood all of those things is pulling up can you see this it's like it's oh i wish i want to tell you how powerful this is because as this dark remember we've let this flow to the top so we can see it we can feel in what's been you know your energy your aura and your aura has been clogged in your R has been harboring thieves of energy or thoughts energies just it just feels eerie like little creatures hiding in spaces of you where there was darkness you know they knew they were trespassing so I don't like these creatures <laughs> I don't know this is but you allowed them and so you perpetuated this sickness or whatever this is. You allowed them. It's like I know I have um these things eat it's so gruesome. Let me tell you the feeling. It's like I know I have these things. It's like knowing you have um termites eating out 
fuck like a, a, a particular part of you or something but you're not paying attention to it or you weren't maybe it's a sickness for some people it's going to be healed that's how i feel powerfully it's something that you've been giving your attention to cancer so it's important for you to bring it to this let it rise to the surface and then as enlightenment comes through, which is the attention you give to it, the focus, the be- whatever, you know, just giving light to it, which is even just looking at it, just examining it. It's going to be exposed to light. And look at how they flee what was whatever these things that were clogging up this space in you here, your aura, your vibration, keeping light from shining in for you, keeping your material abundance from coming through in all aspects of your life, your happiness, your joy, your prosperity, your peace. So these things have to be examined and released and healed. They have to go. These these things, they need to they need to go. These creatures that's been hiding in your temple. Look at they were hiding they were living in your temple, the, the highest, the peaks of you. Look, this is at the peak, the brain, your mind possibly. An awakening is happening. Maybe it's going to be mind shattering and it's very divine. Yeah. Oops, it's divine. So I feel like telling you just like, don't worry about things that are weighing on you. Could be weighing on your heart, throat, third eye, your clarity, your expression, your openness to receive. All of that is where like your ultimate abundance lay. And so something coming, it's coming up from your roots. Like the sun is, is shining for you. I hope you're getting what I'm saying powerfully because this is the sun, the Christ, the truth, the way, the light. This is abundance, prosperity, success, all of it for you. And these will be no more. It feels good as if you're going to be cleaning, spending more time with yourself, healing. You know, it's like going through the places that... Just cleaning up, man. Just going in here. Just even you alone going in this place after the excavation, and just going, just taking your time and cleaning up this place, looking around, loving you, rebuilding this temple, your mind, your spirit, your spirit. It's powerfully I said that. Rebuilding your spirit, my love. You know what I mean? It's like you've been called with the, the bolt of lightning here. You know? To surrender to what? To, to who you are. Maybe as a child of the Most High. Like, it's time for you to come home, to be in yourself, in spirit, in mind, in body. And let the lies and the truth and the, the, all that wasn't yours fall away from you. And I just feel like there were people and situations around you that weren't necessarily for you, you know. They weren't for you at all. It's like, no, you have the choice to make as this judgment comes upon you. It's like an opportunity, this ending, whatever this is, clearing out of house, of temple, for you to say, do I allow these people to come back? Or this situation to, to nest here to feed off my energy, whatever it was. Or do I start over, clear out, and claim what I want from here? In you know, it's like a house being burnt down, but I decide how do I move forward? I'm going to go in, pick up the rubble, and redo everything, start just re clean, re heal, like healing, restoration, all of that. Or will I just leave it be? To rot. But the answer is the sun shines. And I love seeing the three of hearts and the three of swords. Because you're learning how to connect peacefully. You know? Intimacy. Like hugging, kissing, sharing, expressing expression of love not holding back 
All right, that's that's that for that little bit tidbit of inspirational reading for you. I hope you found messages that are inspires you and is able to help you on your journey, Cancer. And we have the Dream Come True card, the Ten of Cups here as well. This is my Dream Come True card. This is how it feels to me. In some cases, like right now. What is this? It feels like I want to say someone wants to make your dream come true. This Virgo hermit energy. You see how that looks? Maybe you will receive. Maybe you'll be open to receiving. I just like that something, something is clearing up in your vision, your third eye, and your entire energy as light shines through. I want to emphasize that once more. You know, it's like light shining in your temple and exposing things and everything is what was resting there begins shrieking, freaking out like we have to go. It's like detox vibration. We have to go. The light is coming into the temple. And it's like all the energies that weren't serving you, your thoughts, feelings, action, anything at all that was blocking you is being cleared up. And I feel it's for a greater purpose. It, it, is, it is probably beyond you as you are. But I can say you've been through a lot. You pick yourself up. You're feeling good. You are a spiritual person. You know how to rest in your heart space. You're probably refraining from heart connections, love, celibacy. Um, you went through the worst. I feel with the Ten of Swords. You're looking for your Ten of cups which is your dream come true your happiness could be something having to do with love new love family love land water home house rekindling um love relationships marriage happiness union the sun energy you just want to be free released to be exposed you want to be seen i feel maybe you want a platform i feel you go you you may have this like i say the light is emerging it's almost like taking center stage Okay, so you may be seen, especially after overcoming. I feel like with the, oh, the Hermit card, there's something about the way you stand firm, grounded, solid, your foundation in self, especially in emotions. The way you get through things, the things you've done, gone through, is, I feel, honorable with the Hermit card and the Three of Swords looking like this. Feels like honorable and honorable title like you deserve that okay i feel for a long time you weren't having connection maybe with people maybe with this particular virgo in a home or you know something like that but this person this you know, maybe wants to come around and embrace you or something like that maybe wants to apologize wants forgiveness with the sun card here um so and then we have abundance with the nine of pentacles. So that's your dream. Your wish is to be free financially. And I think it's work that you want to do and to manifest, actualize on your own. And I feel like you will eventually receive this. And it's like you won't believe it is going to happen before you know it. You'll have all that you want. Your dream come true. Especially material things are vision. What you're looking to manifest, you're at it with the queen of pentacles cancer and you're like oh okay you know you're sitting here looking like it's it's come true i've done it but it's not done you know the king of pentacles it's never over see there is there's something else to do always keep creating um and moving and living from your heart space all right leaving those there and then i'll come See you in another reading, Cancer. Much love. Thank you for coming through. I do hope you found messages that resonate with you and is able to help you on your journey. If you did, hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe. Remember, tell me if you have any particular favorite tarot card deck that you'd like to see me purchase and use. Let me know in the comment section because I'll be purchasing new cards to use with you guys. So much love and I'll see you next time. Remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world you desire, my darling, because you're all and all is within you. Much love.